go home and make some noise. Yeah. We go home. Starting. All right, welcome everybody to another episode of We Go Hard Radio. Everybody, make some noise out there, the people. And I got a special guest with me. Who I got with me today? Hurricane Dude. Hi, Dude. How you doing? Dude? I love Dude, guys. Like y'all don't understand. I love her. I love her, B. <laughs> Oh man! So first of all, this is um, definitely an honor to have you up here on the show. I'm definitely a fan of your style. Thank you. you. No problem. No problem. And you know, let's let's get it right. Let's get it going. Well, first things let's first. Yeah, it's been a a crazy couple of hours in battle rap, huh? Oh, uh, whoa! Battle rap this week. This. Where do we begin? <sighs> Let's um, <laughs> let's talk about um the invitationals. You've been a part of the uh the the, the invitationals brought to everybody yeah. by the War Report. Shout out to um Thesis, Troy, Tall, Terra, Pat, Dutch, the whole family, the whole War Report family. What's that um experience like being a part of the invitationals? Mhm. Mm and um the invitationals was good. I think that this was Invitational 3. Yes, it was. This is the third one. Mm -hmm. um, we did it in Queens. Fact, shout out to Queens. It was great. Shout out to Queens. I forgot the name of the Biker Club, but that club is awesome. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah it is, it's dope in there. It's cool. And they like, they double that security. You don't even need to hire security there. Nah, they don't. Ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, okay, they I heard about it. You know what I'm saying? We had some highlights. Um, Move three times did good. He had a lot of energy. Okay. Um, who else did I remember? It's something good. Just, who else battled that night? That's not like the other internet kind of like overshadows everything. I know Move did okay. Mm -hmm. so a couple of other guys. And there were like two good battles. Okay. Day one. Let's switch to day two. We had the documentary people game. Facts. It was, you know, a much more popping car because they went also, it was a snack volume one was going down. Facts at the same time. Facts. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So we were watching that, so we were streaming it there. And then, um, day two was good. Documentary people did, there was more people in the building. Mm hmm. We were just a better quality of battles. And then a couple of battles definitely stood out. Right. What battles and stood out to you that night? How many battles that night? Um, no, I meant um, what battles stood out to you that night or battles? Well, definitely the one I contributed to. Her, like, I picked Tom Sawyer for to battle Quiet okay. Garcia. And, um... That was interesting. Like, Quiet had the battle rap gun to my head. Um, Tom Sawyer is like returning to battle rap after like <laughs> took a break. Right. So it was good. Both of them were good. They go back and shit. I think Sawyer won. You think but he won? We'll see, you know, when the battle comes out. We'll see what happens when the battle drops, right? Yeah, are you looking at the card? Uh, yeah, I got the card in front of me. Alright, hold on, let me, let me pull the card up. Okay. Yeah, that battle definitely stood out to me just because it was kind of like, you know. Yeah. The battle rap gun was to my head. <laughs> the battle rap gun was um, to your head. <laughs> <laughs> and they had, um, what else stood out? Stax was fire. Stax, he did his thing. Salute to Stax. Stax was 
Max was fine. It was still out to me. Bing was, Bing was kind of dope. You know what I'm saying? He had props. He had pictures and shit. Yeah, he had to knock the rust off. Mm-hmm. I can't say that I, I remember. I can't say that I recall any of their bars, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nothing like that stood out like in my memory. Okay. Um... Uh, Rambo was fired. Facts, he beat the shit out of him. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Bando, that was a fire battle. Facts, Ru Bando and Sheffy was dope. Chase and Benji did their thing. Benji was going off. Facts, salute to Benji. Senior, senior, high society, all that Coliseum. He did. Yeah, salute to Benji and Chase. Mm-hmm. Um, what else before we get to the shit? <laughs> Um, how about the um the main event, um Swag Tana versus Fetty? How did you feel about that battle? Oh, I like that battle and then Fetty with everybody jumping in. To me that like they did like a little old school feel. Yeah. It was almost like a dance battle, like everybody was just coming. That was fly. I think on camera that's gonna look fire. Right. And being that Shuni was in it, like a lot of star power, it was fire. Yeah, it's definitely gonna come out though. Like, they collaborated on that, and I think that was dope for them to all, like, getting five battle rappers together, like, that was great. That was great. Betty has great organizational skills. <laughs> <laughs> great organizational skills. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, and, um, so let's talk about, oh wait, in paper first, Bubba, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was great too, even though they ended off the night, mm-hmm. that battle was fire too. Yeah, yeah. Um, North New York versus Omega. Oh, let's talk about it, man, because everybody seems to talk about it. We know you were there firsthand. So mm-hmm. let's talk about it. How did you feel about the battle? You know, the battle was good. They were talking their shit. And round two, okay, round one, it was great. Uh, North New York, I don't think he felt like he got all of his shit off. Mm-hmm. But we were calling time at 2.30. Right. And I think we just kept trying to make that point, like, within your content, try to get everything you need to say within 2.30. It, mm-hmm. it, look for the filler. You know what filler is when you listen to the other niggas rap. Right. So when you see that shit inside your writing, get rid of it and put some shit in it. Because... It is going to take you three minutes to get to the point. You know, we didn't have time for that. It was 10, 12 battles, 2.30 <clears> is enough time. Right. You got to be, you got to put the most important things in there. Right. And you're doing it three times. So it's like, he was a little mad about that, but he's good. Round two. Let's talk about round okay, two. I'm some shit in round one. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But this is the whole thing about that battle. Like, they were saying shit that I didn't know what was going on. It was like uh, personal. A lot of personal. You know yeah, so, North had a lot of personal. I was catching all of that gossip. Like, what the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? And then, <laughs> <laughs> round two, right. it just, everything changed. Everything changed. So, it's the it's the pocket tap heard around the world, basically. It's been yeah. one of the, the topic of discussion pretty much this whole week in battle rap. So let, let me ask you, since you you know you've been around to a lot of different events, you seen been been around the game and you seen what's going on. Did you feel like the battle was overshadowed by the pocket tap? Yes. I feel like it's overshadowed by the pocket tap because now it spirals into like this whole scandalous situation. So right. now the the origin of him arguing is way more interesting than I think than the actual battle. battle. Right. I think so too. I think the 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 lead up to the actual battle was very entertaining mm-hmm. from both sides. Yeah. Yeah this personal problems are way more entertaining at this point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I, I, that's why I like the people that keep their shit, you know, off of social media. Right. Because then that, that's what will have your business out there. Like, I hear a lot of battles, like, oh, personal is whack, and this and this and that. But if you weren't so active online to the point where we know where you were, we know where you live, and, you know, we know what your fiance is doing, mm-hmm. it would be, that wouldn't be 
material that somebody else could use. Right. I think to the, in today's day and age, it's like, I feel like battle rappers are a lot more accessible to the people. Mm-hmm. Whereas in years past, it was maybe the battle rappers, you, you didn't really have a battle rapper's Facebook or they weren't even in groups. It's like it's a thousand groups. And it's like a thousand more battle rappers and they're friends with you on Facebook and people don't realize that when you're friends on Facebook, everything you do pops up pretty much. Yeah. And I, and I think it just makes the whole personal approach a little bit more easier. Exactly. Whereas the older battlers like the vet, they were actually friends. Mm-hmm. So they had all of this history. They're not on Facebook, you know what I'm saying? They pretty much went through what these guys are going through now, except it's just another way. Like, instead of us actually spending time together and being in each other's house, and you getting to see my flaws, I'm telling you my flaws on Facebook. Facts. You know what I mean? You don't even have to discover it or anything like that. People are just giving it up. So. It's right there in your, it's right there basically in front of you, basically. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's like... It's unfortunate now. The pocket chat, North New York went inside his pocket <laughs> and went in his pocket and his wallet came out. When I was watching it, right. I was like, what? How did he, he did it smooth though. I ain't gonna lie, like it was smooth. Like he set the form when his pocket took it out and just started going through it. <laughs> so basically, everybody was just like, hey, man, what's going on? Yeah, this is real. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. he was kind of shocked. And then. He put it back in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so he was just like, hey, what's that just happened? Blah, 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 blah. For the most part, there was no tension. Mm-hmm. I didn't feel like anything was going to happen afterwards. A rap, right? Yeah, they, they rap, you know what I mean? And that was basically it. I think that was the part mm-hmm. I was looking forward to the most is okay. let's get it over with, let's rap, and then, you know what I mean? I, I applaud okay. them for going, for keeping it professional, even after the battle was over, because we've seen, you know, it's, things get out of hand sometimes after the battle is over, or even during the battle. I, nothing, I didn't see any, I didn't, I don't know what he's talking about. Like, I didn't see, I didn't see anything happen with the battle. Like, if they had something going on, like, if they were staring at each other, mm-hmm. a, shit like that, in the court. Right. But as far as like something I could hear, I didn't hear them say anything. I didn't hear them beefing. Omega was gone. And it's like then the story started coming out. A whole bunch of other fact. stuff. Right. Yeah, I don't think Omega would have been so upset if it didn't get so public because like I said, he allowed him to so, go inside his pocket. And First let it happen. Thinking, if somebody reaches in my pocket, you're going to slap their hand. Facts. You're going to tell the other battler, oh, right, I can't go inside his pocket. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But you didn't. You let him go in your pocket. So I'm thinking you did that for entertainment purposes. Right. Like, you understand what this could do. You understood at that moment that him going in your pocket means you know that. You know, gotcha. He said that he's 36 years old. He also said that he makes $80,000 a year. I'm just in the soul. You know what I'm saying? That right. he's kind of smart. Facts. So you let him go inside your pocket. He mm-hmm. takes it out. He runs just do your things. You sit there. You watch it. He puts it back in your pocket. All right, fine. Troy Martin, um, thanks to you for being <laughs> professional. The next day, everyone's laughing at what happened because... We black, you know what I'm saying? Niggas just don't go inside of niggas' pockets. That's not something that happened. Mm-hmm. Now, repercussions. Facts. And it was funny for everyone, you know what I mean? And I think that's what upset him. So now he's like changing the tone of everything, which I think is whack. Yeah, I feel like if you if you was down for that to happen and you was cool with it and all the other stuff, you can't turn around and get upset when, you know, people's going to talk about it how they're going to talk about it. But it's, right. the, it's like, kind of, like, crazy what's going on. Like, I got, like, three requests from, like, shit that would be in his pocket, like his wallet. I think his wallet and bike chain yeah. requested me. It's like... His wallet chain. Facts. It's a wallet. Omega's wallet chain. Omega's wallet. Omega's city day card. Omega's <laughs> mud. It's, it's out of control. Then Reaper goes live. Oh and my Omega's God. wallet. Reaper had Reaper as Battle Truth is the funniest shit I've ever saw in my it life. Is. I, I think Reaper now is like 
this is it, Reaper. You did it. You found something. Mm hmm. And you got to stick to it. And he solidifies his presence here. I love it. I, I love, love it, bro. Reaper. Yeah, shout out to Reaper, man, because I was crying. I was, I was literally watching the live in real tears. Yeah, me too. I just couldn't. It was so good. <laughs> the wallet, it was so fucking good. I watch it. I'm going to watch it today. I definitely, I'm That's definitely going to tune into this. You got a lot of replay value. <laughs> Everyone, you, you your on Facebook, follow people around on Facebook, and check out his live. Facts. As, as Omega's wallet and as Reaper Truth. It's the greatest thing ever. Greatest shit ever, ever in Vegas. Shout out to my boy Reaper. So let me um get a little bit serious with this topic because a, a lot of people have mixed opinions as far as you know, antics and pocket taps and responding to certain things in battle rap. So, mm -hmm. do you think do these things are good or bad for the culture? I think it's, I don't, I feel indifferent about it. You okay. know what I mean? Because people have contracts. Mm -hmm. You can discuss what you, what is crossing the line to you. You know, it's all about the way you communicate things and the way you're going to crack your image. Right. Maybe people aren't even considering that going in. You know what I'm saying? Oh, how am I going to look on camera? How is this going to affect my image? Or what trick? You know, you got to play chess a little bit. Like, what could they possibly do to harm my look? You know what I'm saying? Right, or make me look a certain kind of way. I feel like it shouldn't be no physical contact. If you don't want someone touching you, then you should say it. Don't touch me, basically. Yeah. That's what I think. I think when shook battles, mm -hmm. you have to consent. To like a pocket check or something because you know it's so hard to. <laughs> you have to sign. You have to sign the waiver, the pocket check waiver. Like, how would you wait? What if you don't like my? Like, I don't want this nigga smacking my pocket. Like, how do you even work that out? He's gonna smack it anyway, I think. Right. Should just like. So to me, dude, I don't know. Like with battle rap, it's touchy with battle rap, right? Mm -hmm. Because then people don't want you talking about your kids, and then it's like, okay, so yeah, I don't know. Like, what I do think you, it's something that needs to be discussed if it's some issues, you know. I agree. I feel like well, when you sit down, you make the contracts, go over the time and all this stuff. I think if that's something that you don't want happening, I feel like you're entitled to say, well, you know, I don't want this such and such to happen. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's what I think. I think that um, battlers should start taking, taking their image you know, more seriously, be more responsible with your look. That's it. I don't personally care what niggas do outside of battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Because live your life by all means, you only get one. Right, but absolutely. You, can't, you know, but as far as your business is concerned, I ain't interested, but when it gets out there and it's funny or whatever, or it's like scandalous it's, or whatever, everyone It's going to get talked about, know. yeah. What's yeah. going on? Right. Sometimes I think the battlers don't realize that they are the public figures. Even though they might not feel like they're public figures, like, you guys are public figures. People paying money to see you guys, they're dying to see the footage, they're campaigning for your footage, they're complaining they really to like, 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 respect them. Like, sometimes when I used to have this teaching job, mm -hmm. the kids used to be like, you know this one? You know that one? Like, I don't know if they really can grasp how people look at them, like, you right. know, semi celebrity, and a lot of them are celebrities. Like, Twerk right now is super, super popular. Chess Facts. has a very big following. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people watching that you don't even realize. Right, and I think if you, I think now it's coming to the point where you have to invest in your career and invest in your image and, and, and things of that nature because. Now we're in the day and age where everyone is getting paid basically to battle rap. It doesn't matter if someone has a little bit of money and they can get you some money, they're gonna pay you if you if you one of those guys that command you know what I mean some money or whatever. So I feel like you should mm -hmm. invest in your image and protect your image in any way that you can. Yeah, absolutely. So I don't think pocket checking should be taken out or anything. I just think that they need to be very specific about what, what they feel like would be violations towards them. And it'd be fine, just communicate. And that's it, you know? And then, you know, we won't have Omega's wallet and his bike chain and his card talking about what happened yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you gotta have a thick skin, I think, also. Like, this is battle rap. 
Mm-hmm. The reason why I never did it when I was younger is because I knew, like, I was, I was a fucking, I'm an emotional ass nigga. Like, if you say some shit that I'm not, I, I'm just not for that. You know what I mean? And if you're gonna enter a sport like this, you gotta have thick skin. You gotta have tough skin. Yeah, man. Like, you need to take a while out your pocket. You're doing all these interviews. You're making it. You're making it last longer. Mm-hmm. Then it really needs to last. You're basically yeah, you're glorifying yeah. it, you know what I mean? And you're trying to, you know, make it profitable to yourself. So you can't right. want to make it profitable to yourself, but then get mad when all the other stuff is going on. That doesn't make any kind of sense. Exactly. Um, he actually hit me up in the inbox and he wanted me to... I know, I know. It's so it's different. So Don't sit up in the back, nigga swag and nigga. Kick. Okay.